Yeah. Gonna start with a nice burger bun. This is a nice brioche because it looked super tasty. And we're gonna slather that with a little bit of Duke's mayonnaise. Next we get a Roma tomato and a sweet Vidalia onion. Just need a half of it. And only need a few bits of this tomato, but yeah, whatever, that's good enough. And I'm gonna put those over here and the onions. And I've also got some sliced shiitake mushroom tops here. Uh, yeah, already sliced those. Okay, veggies. A little bit of vegetable oil. My pan here, medium heat. I'll we'll just stick those mushrooms and uh, what are these? Onions? <laughs> Into the pan. Mm, get them women doing their thing. I'm just gonna get a bit of kosher salt and ground peppercorn. And now that the oil has gone away a bit, uh, I'm gonna use some of this soy sauce. Oh, that smells super good. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, use that same pan, get it back up to a medium high heat, and it's burger time. Got some ground beef here that's 80% lean, 20% fat. And I'm gonna season that with some ground peppercorn. Some basil. And some of this sriracha salt, <laughs> because it sounded interesting. All right, see how that does. Burgers. And while that's going real quick, I got some of this Winsleydale Creamery Shires of England. It's like a mixture of different cheeses. I don't know. Sounds good. Oh, that's that got soft. I don't think this is the right slicer. It's like layers, man. What is this? Whoa. Uh, that, I left this out too long. Yeah, good enough. Okay, cheese. Let's try you. <laughs> well... Thermometer time. Gonna get it up to about 145. Medium rare. Come on, cheese, melt! Because I don't have a lid for this. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting cheese situation. <laughs> All right, lowered the heat down to pretty low. And now it's time for the brioche just to get a little toasted with that mayonnaise being all sunken into the butter now. Of uh, the butter. Into the bread. Yeah. Oh, pretty much perfect. Okay, I got some hydroponically grown bib lettuce. One of those living lettuce things. Have a nice little bed of this along the bottom. Some of that tasty onions and mushrooms and things. The burger. A bit of those tomatoes, just a few. A little bit more of the onion mushroom precarious balancing act. A teeny bit of this minced garlic. Nope, nope, that's too much. Yeah, there we go. And a fresh dollop of Dukes. Oh yeah, dude. And so I've got some interesting potato chips, some Kettle Brand cooked in avocado oil, chili lime, citrus infused sea salt. Mmm. And, of course, pickles, or pickled something. Got some of these okra pickles. Oh yeah, just a couple will do the trick. This is an intriguing looking meal. I am uh, very curious to try it because it's the first for this particular combo. Let's go for it. Holy, mm, yes. Well, it totally just fell apart. <laughs> My camera is about to run out of battery, so um, individual pieces, tomato and cheese. 
The cheese is fantastic. I don't even know what part of it I got, but because it was all those layers of the cheese. Uh, the burger bits. <laughs> the burger was good. Love that lettuce. I've used it before. Um, the brioche was a great choice with it. Lightly toasted with that mayo. Oh yeah. And of course the onions, mushrooms and everything. Onions and mushrooms are always a good combo. Pickled okra. It's always good. Mm. Especially this brand. I haven't had it before. Yeah, the more I have of that cheese, the more it really is the star of the show. It's a shame it didn't work out on top of the burger melting like that, or actually I probably just screwed it up, but highly recommend the cheese. And these interesting looking chips. It's way more mild than I thought it would be. Almost just like a salt and pepper chip. The tiniest hint of chili powder, a little bit of lime. I mean, you know, it's about what you would expect then, I guess. Well, this turned into an absolute mess. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're hungry now, because I am. Mmm.